feeding the pigs, you know, killing, cleaning for customers when they come purchase. You gotta cut their ears, their teeth, give them their injections. It's kind of like raising, raising your child itself. Our pig is known as Ray's Hog Farm and it's located on Pawkey Road. We have two lots there and we raise a lot of pigs in. Matthew Reyes leaves for work to Miley Wainai with his family every day. Pigs are just like humans, you know, they gotta, they gotta eat and drink every day. Um, the pigs, they can't feed themselves, you know, they're locked up in a cage. I didn't really have time to do much in my life, but all that I can remember is work, you know, work and get up and work, go to school, work. They give me a lot of chances to go out, you know, and stuff, but it's one reason why I kind of not wanted to go out because I know my parents would need help too. It's an ever, never endless job, but it is what it is, gotta do. Despite the endless hours put in, during the end of 2016, the farm faced heavy competition. After a while, you know, business got slow and we lost a lot of our customers because um, the demand wasn't as large as it was before. According to the 2014 data collected from the State of Hawaii Department of Agriculture, Reyes Hog Farm competes with 70 other pig farms on Oahu, a fraction of the 200 found statewide. A lot of people is getting involved and new farms are coming up, so it's, it's easier to get pigs anywhere now. It took a toll because it jeopardized our properties, you know, I mean, we could have lost everything because we didn't have income coming in, so we had to um, find ways, you know, to hustle. For these hard times, Matthew and his family tried their best to regain people's interest. How we gained a lot of customers was we dropped our prices on the pigs, you know, so like a lot of customers would come because we were, we were a little cheaper than the other farms. So it was better that we lost a little money than lose everything, you know. We had to um, take money out of our savings accounts and kind of put my head together and be I had to grow up really fast. I had to stand like a father figure to my siblings. Go on that side, help mom. Go stand on this side. As a role model, Matthew plans on furthering his education to pave the way for the future of the farm. I am planning on going to college, maybe just for a few years, get maybe a business degree. I just want to go and go a little bit deeper into business to, so I, and for my better understanding. And also I want to take over the business because we had it for a long time. So I want to, I want to keep it in the family and continue it. Uh, it's not I have to do this. Um, I really want to do this because like this is my this is my life, you know, my livelihood, and it wouldn't make sense if I do anything else because I already know almost everything about pig farming. Um, I'm just gonna keep myself motivated and positive, you know. Even when times get hard, I'm just gonna keep pushing myself to be successful. This is Elizabeth Ufi from Waianae High School for Hiki No.